Good morning. I welcome you all to the series of lectures on heat transfer. Today we are going to discuss the problem on shift factor. A spherical ball 6 cm in diameter and 300 Kelvin is placed inside a large spherical furnace at 600 Kelvin. Spherical ball 6 cm di diameter and uh, 310 Kelvin which is placed in a large furnace whose temperature is 600 Kelvin. Estimate the diameter of the spherical furnace, that means we need to calculate R2, such that 20% of the energy emitted by the furnace reaches the spherical ball. 20, that means, uh, you know, this furnace is at a high temperature, so it emits radiation, out of which only 20% of the radiation is striking the small ball, remaining 80% is striking the same furnace itself. That is the meaning. That means if I strike this one like this, only 20% is 20% is striking the cylinder one, that means ball, remaining remaining will strike the same surface itself. 80% is striking the same surface itself, that is furnace itself. Only 20%. Okay? Right. Assume the surfaces as black. What is the net exchange of energy between the two surfaces? T1 cylinder, small cylinder diameter, uh, temperature 310 Kelvin. T2, large uh, furnace cylinder sphere, that is uh, uh, furnace temperature T2, 600 Kelvin. Small uh, ball, that is a uh, small uh, sphere uh, radius is, diameter is 6 means radius 3 centimeter, R2 is, we need to calculate. Uh, no, F11 plus F12 is equal to 1, because sum of all shape factors for any surface is 1. F11 plus F12 equal to 1. Here, F11 is 0, because whatever the radiation which is emitted by the space, sphere 1 cannot strike because it is emitting like this it cannot emit like this right so whatever the radiation which is emitted from surface 1 will strike the surface 2 so that means f12 become 1 f11 is 0 because it cannot emit radiation such that it will go on in, in this direction it cannot strike the same surface itself f11 is 0 if i write f110 f12 become 1 if I apply reciprocity rule A1 F12 equal to A2 F21. So from this F21 equal to A1 by A2, A F12 is in 1. So no need to write A1 by A2. So F21 is 0.2, it is given. That means 20% of the energy which is from surface 2 will strike the cylinder 1. That means as yes, far as sphere 1. So such that spherical furnace such that 20% of the energy emitted by the furnace reaches the spherical ball. 20% of the energy emitted by the furnace reaches the spherical ball. So 20% of the furnace, 20% of the radiative energy which is emitted by the furnace will reach the spherical ball. That means um, this is F221, F21, this is surface 2 and which is striking the surface 1, F21 is 0.2, okay, 0.2 equal to a1 by A2, A1 is pi r, 4 pi r square is a sphere, so area is 4 pi r square, A2 is 4 pi r2 square. Here, you know, from this, you know, if I apply, the, if you equate point 0.2 equal to this one, you know all the values except r2, you can get r2 value as 6.71 centimeter. Diameter of spherical furnace is 6.71 into 2. Diameter is 2 times the radius, so 13.42 centimeter. Net exchange of energy between the two surfaces. Between these two surfaces, what is the net exchange of heat in the form of radiation? Q122 is equal to, we are, we are taking one from 1 to 2, in, because actually heat is transferring from furnace to ball, but we know F12 value f12 value 1 so it is very easy for you to calculate of course you may get negative value because heat is transferred in this direction but we are calculating in this direction from how much energy is net how much net energy is transferring between 1 and 2 that's what that's what we are calculating q122 equal to sigma a1 f12 t1 power 4 minus t2 power 4 you will get minus 77.19 watt minus sign means if the heat is transferred from furnace to the ball you can calculate like this with the same formula also but you will get the positive one sigma a2 f21 here f1 to 2 that's why f a1 same t2 power 4 minus t1 power 4 you will get the same answer with a positive sign if you want you can check it thank you very much